Hello guys, this is SMH Cuber, and today I'm gonna be making a review of the Cubicle Chi Vault M. To start off, this cube is a magnetic version of the Chi the Vault 3, made by Chris Tran. The magnets help the cube feel more stable and allow for less lockups, and as a result, allow an increase in TPS. This cube has pretty standard corner cutting as you can see at almost 60 degrees forward and right at 30 degrees reverse. Also a cool thing about this cube is that due to the magnets you can loosen this cube more than you would normally be able to loosen a vault due to the magnets allowing the puzzle to stay together while on very loose tension. This cube also has a very buttery smooth yet crispy feel. This adds to the satisfaction of turning it. A main drawback I would say about this cube is that sometimes the magnets tend to come unglued and shake around in the cube, but all you have to do is find the piece it is, open that piece, and re-glue the magnet with super glue, but you need to make sure that the polarity is correct by attaching the magnet to a neighboring piece before super gluing it, or you will have some polarity issues. Also, on loose tensions, this cube tends to pop in like 1 out of 200 or so solves, and maybe more if you're an extremely rough solver, but this doesn't tend to happen unless you're on very loose tensions. All in all, my final thoughts on this cube is that it is a very nice cube, but not necessarily the best on the market. It is really expensive, and I don't think it is the best cube for everyone. I would suggest watching multiple reviews before purchasing this cube because of just how much it costs, so you know exactly what you are getting and if it is going to be worth your money. You could also consider making your own magnetic vault, but it is a very tedious process and can be easily messed up. One more thing about this is that I wouldn't recommend using it for OH, as although it makes it more stable and allows it to align better, it makes your hand more tired when turning it. It makes it more difficult to turn fast, and it causes lockups more often because of these things. I wouldn't necessarily say to never use this cube for OH, but I'm just saying it probably won't be the best to use for most people. Lastly, I just want to thank everyone for watching this video, and stay tuned to watch the rest of my solves. That's it for today guys, see you guys next time.